My name is Shivam. Today I'm going to show five experiments that air occupies space. Let's do. Let's try our first experiment. A plastic bag. A Ziploc bag. It fits inside this box. Now let's blow air inside this. Now it's ready. Let's see if it fits. Ah, it's not fitting. Inside my little wooden box. See, I'm trying hard, but it's not fitting. This shows that air occupies space inside this bag. Let's start the second experiment. We need a spoon, a bowl of water, bottle, and cover. Let's cover this water so we can see nicely. Now we cover the water, now let's mix it. Now you guys can see the water perfectly. Now, this is this water. Let's tilt it down. Do you see water inside? Now let me tilt it. See these bubbles? That means the air is coming out in the water thing inside. This shows air is inside the water and air occupies space. Now we are going to do experiment number three. For that we need a glass, bowl, a bowl filled with water and a tissue. Let's break this bowl. Look, it's floating. Now if I break this glass, guess what will happen? Guess what will happen if I place it? Now I'm pressing it down. Oh, the bow is sink. The air is inside the glass. So the bow has been sink. Now let's place the seal inside. Now let me place it on the bow. Oh, my tissue isn't wet. Now let me tilt the glass. Oh, now my tissue is wet. This shows that the air occupies space. Let's do our expect number four. For that we need a straw, bubble we create. First let me dip, now let me do in the air. Some bubbles are small, big. Let me do it on a dry surface. Don't wet surface. See, it's not popping. It occupies air. This shows that air occupies space inside the bubble. It shows that air occupies space and we get small, big, different, different size of bubbles. Let's do our experiment number five. You know that all vehicles have wheels, but when when the wheel gets punctured, air gets out and it becomes flat. So this says that air occupies space. 
inside the video. Check all my videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.